Hey there, so in this video I'm just going to show you how you can use Google Sheets to better track your Bitcoin or crypto holdings. Uh, so the idea of this video came about when I came across this Reddit post right here where this person was asking about, oh let's just say I bought a thousand at this price and then I buy another thousand at that price and so uh, if I want to sell how much uh, how much would it be worth and like how much would I gain so on and so forth but that so basically this post here was the uh, the idea behind creating this spreadsheet that I'll make available for anyone who wants to download it so I'll keep a link down below if you would like to check out the spreadsheet and to download it so here I've just already kind of started it off and I'm going to go over the spreadsheet with you as I uh, as I just kind of explain it. So here at the top, I've already got these headings here. I, this is pretty straightforward, but like date, uh, the dollar amount that you had bought, uh, the, the price of Bitcoin at that time, and the amount of BTC purchase. So this this will work out by itself. And so here it, it's the running total of the total dollar that's you've put into that particular coin. So in this case, it's Bitcoin. Uh, this is how much you've accumulated in total. And this is your average cost per coin, right? So let's just say, uh, well, today's the 25th. So I've added this in and let's just say I've bought $10 and it's at 6,600. So that means right now, this is how much I would have got, uh, how much Bitcoin I would have gotten, right? So basically the way it works is it takes this amount here, so $10 and it's divided by the 6,600. So as you can see here, uh, right? So B2, which is this here, divided by C2, right? So, and it gives you the amount that you should have. Now this is just a running total. So the uh, this cell right here is a, it's the sum of all of whatever's in column B. And then here it's a sum of column D. And then here, it's just this number divided by this number, right? And that will give you the average cost per coin. So I'm just going to go over some examples with you of uh, how to input some things or if you're buying or selling and then how these numbers here will change. So let's just say today's the uh, March 26, 2020. And then you buy, let's just say 20 bucks, right? $20 worth and uh, it goes down the price goes down it goes to 60 uh 300 okay as an example i i don't know if it's true but well, let's just see what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and drag it down right so uh basically it's copying this a uh, formula and or calculation and and saying i want to do it for here and as you can see the numbers here have changed so now i've put in 30 dollars and this is how much btc i would have I should have at the moment. So here in this spreadsheet, I have not added in fees, right? So like if you're doing buy fees or or uh, trade fees or uh, I guess deductions, uh, network fees, I haven't included any of this in. This is just in terms of, uh, I, I guess your trades. Uh, so whether it's buy and sell. So then let's take a look back here. So let's just say it's the, I'm gonna drag it down, the 20, the next day it's the 27th. And uh, you know, Bitcoin goes down to 66,000, right? And you're like, oh, that's sweet. I'm gonna get uh, an extra, I don't know, $30 worth, right? So then as you can see, um, this number here changes, but I haven't, drag that down yet. So that means you've got $30 worth of crypto or Bitcoin at 6,000. That means this is how much you should have gotten. And then obviously your average cost went down, right? And then let's just take a look. Let's just say the next day you uh, want to buy some more, right? So again, maybe 50 bucks and it's the same price, right? So let's just do this and bring it down, right? Again, the average cost will come down. But let's just say the next day, there's a huge rip in the price, right? So let's just say it goes to, I don't know, 6700 And you're like, sweet, I'm going to cash out maybe half of what I've got. So you got about half. So let's just say this you're going to sell 60 right? 
So what you need to do instead of uh, just entering 60, you'd have to do minus 60, right? Because it tells you that you've uh, now taken out $60 worth and you've sold $60 worth at this price. And if you drag this down, it should also give you a negative. That means how much uh, how much uh, BTC less you have, right? And so this is how much you've kind of put in your, um, again, this is a running total, so it'll account for this right here. So this spreadsheet here is just kind of to show you how much your average cost per per coin is. It's not going to necessarily tell you the profit. Now in the future, I'll probably create something to, uh, to show you how much you've profited uh, or lost. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep it uh, straightforward and simple on how to calculate your average cost per coin uh, just based off of that post. But in the future, I'll probably create some sort of calculator to uh, to show you how much you've made or how much you've lost. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found it informative or educational, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below on what you liked or what you didn't like. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Bye for now.